Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to do another layout update. Um, the layout did change. As you can see, I am going to try to build a double, well, at least have two trains running at the same time. So I'm going to need to build another bridge, just like this, that'll go right there, from there to there. And then it'll just go around. I also need to get more, you know, find my other short little pieces right there. And it'll just go around, follow the, kind of follow the angle, and, uh, and um, this is where the trains can get on and get off. And it'll just go back around. Yeah. Um. I did. No, I didn't buy it. In, like. N no freight cars or new locomotives have been purchased recently. But I did get something else that I think is pretty cool, and I've always, I've always wanted. Um. I've always wanted them. Ever since I got into the hobby, and let me show you what they are. Yeah, CSX maintenance of way truck. This is pretty cool. I've always wanted a maintenance of way truck. No one makes them anymore, but a guy I met off of Train Life, a good friend, he custom builds them. And he custom built this. It came out to be pretty awesome. He's got high rail wheels on it, front and back. It's got the CSX decal on the side. Plus, you can't see it, but it says it's kind of you can't read it, but it says um quality and motion on the front two fenders on both sides. This is probably one of the nicest things I have. It really looks really detailed. This boom arm operates up and down, swivels, extends. Um, I think this is pretty cool, the little roof over the cab. It's like, it looks like real metal. That's pretty cool. Um, I use it. I use it like this. I put just take rails like junk rails. I took a lot for some of my other track, and I just set them right there, kind of like a uh, rack, and I just hold the rails, just like that, just for looks. So yeah, it's, I like that. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty nice with the rails on it. <clears throat> um, and also I got another CSX truck built, custom built, just like the last one, custom built by the same guy, and this one had, this one is a crew cab with, I guess, like a toolbox bed, a custom built tool, toolbox bed. And also um, another crane. And so this one is really nicely detailed. This one um, didn't come with high rail, high rail wheels, um, which I only wanted one that came with it, just so I can have a normal road truck and one with high rails on it. So I like them both. They're going nice with my uh, maintenance collection. I also have, oh well, I also I also use the. Uh, Um, I don't know who made it. I forgot but it's a uh, Volvo forklift. So that's uh, really nice. I use that as my maintenance one of my maintenance trucks and I also use an um international dump truck as another one of my maintenance trucks. So it kinda those two kind of complete the set. Two cranes, a forklift and a dump truck. And the forklift, I can take the forks off and 
put it with a regular bucket. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I, and I like these two new trucks. They are amazing. Amazingly detailed and well, they're just awesome. <clears throat> um, like I said, I, I am I'm trying to do two tracks, so I can have two trains running at the same time. And um, all I have to do is just, I think I have enough pieces to put right there and right there. There's only the pieces I need, and and I, I think I could do it probably this uh, Friday tomorrow. Get it up and get some trains running. Um, I think I, all I need is just two straight pieces that'll go right here. No, well, not even that. I don't need some shorter pieces. But I'll get it figured out. Um. I was also going to think about doing like a right here where that switch is. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. It's messy. just need to go and clean up. I think what I'm doing here is, I don't know if I can do it, but having tracks coming out here and then having industries and stuff. But I don't think I can do that. I don't think I have enough room to. I might move the switch down farther there so that I can have industry tracks coming in here and stuff like that. I have switches all along this track that go out there and there'll be an industry on that switch where that covered hopper is sitting on. So I have, hopefully I have, um, and then um, that switch is going to be gone. It won't stay there. But I'm probably going to have industries. Uh, I'm going to see if I can squeeze one probably into like maybe a that corner and that corner over there and maybe maybe the sand mine can just sit right here and the tracks the both the tracks just go around it. Um and I also want to figure out how to do another another uh like switch right here so the two tracks can meet because if I have if I have one of my locomotives going this way and I want to get on this track, I need to put another one like this. So I want to back it up and pull it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see where I can where that would be the easiest place to put a switch in like that, so I can get locomotives running, keep running the same direction, and switch them on a different track without having to stop them and back them up. Um, that's basically all that I have been up to these last few weeks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next time.